Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you Veed's subtitle generator. So this, in my opinion, is probably the fastest way to add subtitles to your videos. First, I'm going to show you how to import your video into Veed. Then I'm going to show you how to automatically generate your subtitles. Then I'm going to show you how to edit your subtitles text and duration. And then I'm going to show you how to customize your subtitles and make them unique change the style. And with that being said, to get started, you can either head over to Google and Google VEED and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's gonna be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do have an account, you're just gonna go ahead and click on the new project button. Now we're in Veed's video editor, and this is where we're going to import our video. So if I click on upload video, I'm going to select this quick podcast snippet that I have, and I click on open. As you can see, it's now imported into Veed. So if I click play. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the, so as you can see, See, I have my video. So now we've imported our video, here's how to automatically generate our subtitles with Veed's subtitle generator. So if I click on the subtitle tab, we have three options. We have the option to upload a subtitle file, we can manually add the subtitles, or what we're here for, use the auto subtitle tool. So if I click on this, and then I select the language that we're speaking in in this video, for an example, in this video, we're talking in English. So I'm gonna select English Great Britain. Obviously, there's hundreds of languages that you can choose from. And then once you've chosen the language that you're talking in, you click on start. And this is where Veed subtitle generator is automatically going to transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn this text into subtitles. And now we can see it's just finished in a matter of a few seconds and the subtitles have appeared in three different places. So first we have them in the actual subtitle editor on the left here, then we have them in the timeline at the bottom and then we have them on the actual video canvas. Now before we go any further I do want to mention that if you are not interested in the hard-coded subtitles into your video and you're only interested in subtitle files such as an SRT file, well if you head over to the options tab, you can actually go ahead and download your SRT file. But before we do that, we're just going to edit our subtitles and look for any mistakes just in case. So here's how to edit our subtitles. As we can see, now if I click play, social media podcast, I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we as you can see, I have subtitles for the words that I'm saying. So at the beginning, because I talk very fast, the hey everyone got cut off and Veed only detected everyone. So if I click play again, hey everyone, I hope you all as you can see, I kind of merged two words together and said, hey everyone, instead of hey everyone. So what I'm gonna to do to correct this, very simple, I'm going to select the subtitle which has this mistake in it, and then I'm gonna edit it as if it was any other text anywhere else. So I'm just gonna type in, hey everyone. I hope you're doing great. Um, I might put a comma here. Welcome to the social media podcast. And what I could do actually is just cut this out instead and paste this right here. So now I've got, hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. And then on the next subtitle, it says, welcome to the social media podcast. But look what happens when I click play. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. I'm your As you can see, the subtitles now out of sync because I've moved the text around. So don't panic, this is very easy to change. What we're going to do is adjust the timing of each subtitle. Now there's a few different ways you can do this. First of all, you can manually input the start time and end time using your keyboard. So if I wanted this to start at 0 0.5 seconds, I could do so. And as you can see, it's now moved along. I can also click and drag or what I can do is place the playhead at where I want the subtitle to start or finish and click on either the start stopwatch, as you can see it's just moved there, and now let's say I want it to end sooner, I click on the end stopwatch for that specific subtitle. So what I'm gonna do now is just click and drag and readjust them until I'm happy. So if I click play, hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. As you can see, that sentence finishes there. So what I'm gonna do now is click and drag this subtitle to here. And now if I click play, welcome to the social media podcast. I what I'm gonna do is click and drag this subtitle out to stick to the previous one. So now, hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the social media podcast. I'm your host, Alec. This is perfect. And I'm just going to add a couple more changes. I'm gonna add another comment in here. I'm your host, Alec. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about everything and anything related to social media. So get comfortable, grab your favorite drink and let's go. As you can see, Veed's subtitle generator was very accurate. There was only one mistake with the hey everyone, but that's because I was speaking very fast. And all I did was move around some text and add a little bit of punctuation in certain spaces just to make the subtitles more readable. Now that I've edited my subtitles, I'm going to show you how to customize your subtitles. So we're going to change the style of our subtitles. So if I click on the style tab right here, here we have a bunch of different options. Now I can either go in detail and change everything or we can choose one of the presets. One of my favorite presets is this one right here. So it's the white text with the black drop shadow. The drop shadow really helps it stand out from the video. And we can also customize everything in detail here. For example, I could change the font. I could change the font size. And I also want to mention, for example, if I change it for this subtitle, it will change it for every single subtitle. If I click and drag and move them up here, 
every subtitle will be up there in the corner. So I'm just gonna place this back down in the middle and I'm gonna change the font size, let's just say 36. Actually keep it more in the middle, just like this, if I place it right there. And then again, back to the styling tab, I can also change the layout so it can stick to one side. I can change the color, for example, if I want them to be pink. I can also change the letter spacing and the line height. For example, if I want more space between the text, I can do that very easily. I'm just gonna put zero back in there. And then I can also change the letter spacing. Very simple again. I accidentally put zero, this should be one. That was an accident on my behalf. And then the letter spacing, I can make this. Basically, you have a lot of freedom when it comes to customizing the actual subtitles. And again, if you want, you could even change the drop shadow color. So I've made this yellow. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to download these as an SRT file, for example, you want to upload these subtitles to YouTube, very simple. Just click on download SRT file. As you can see, the subtitles have now downloaded and we'll be able to unzip that on our desktop and then upload them to YouTube as an SRT file. And YouTube will keep the exact text and timing. However, because it's an SRT file, the style won't matter at all. But if you're hard coding the subtitles into the video, so they're gonna be part of the actual MP4 file, well, once you're happy, you click on publish in the top right. Veed then begins to render your project with its newly baked in subtitles. And then once it's finished, you can go ahead and download that video to your computer. Now that is how to add subtitles to your video using Veed's automatic subtitle generator. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you out and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.